Invaxin Gate, the life-saving vaccine turned toxic. Hello and welcome to Inventiva. This is Palak Yadav presenting to you today's Big News. On 29th June 2021, the Brazilian government suspended 20 million doses of Covaxin worth $300 million deal with Bharat Biotech. This was a major blow to Bharat Biotech's plan to market Covaxin abroad. The growing scandal about the contract started becoming heavy on Jair Bolsonaro. This led to Brazilian government in a completely defensive mode to save the president's name from a multi-million dollar scandal, which has become a hot topic of discussion for every media house in the country. On Tuesday, 29th June, Brazil's Minister of Health, Marcelo Quiroga, broke the ice and announced that the government has decided to suspend the contract with Bharat Biotech on the advice of the federal Comptroller General, which is the process of investigating the claimed irregularities in the contract. The CGU will decide whether to terminate or go forward with the deal after a thorough examination of the contract, which may take 10 to 15 days. But in the views of the senators uh, leading the Parliamentary Commission of Inquiry, the contract is terminated. Prakesa Medicamentos, a local company, mediated and signalled the deal between uh, Bharat Biotech and Brazil. The company has attracted several political controversies for days. The company became the main objective of the Parliamentary Commission of Inquiry, investigating in the government's handling of the pandemic. The relatively high cost of Covaxin, which had not passed regulatory tests, attracted the Brazilian federal prosecutor's attention to the contract signed in February. According to a document, the government of the Prosecutor General's office, the Health Ministry has to pay $320 million to Prakisa Medicamentos and each, cost, each dose costs Rs. $15. This amount was notably higher than what the health ministry paid for Pfizer's vaccine, which has passed regulatory requirements. Last year, President Bolsonaro ignored Pfizer's proposal to supply vaccines and constantly raised questions on the American pharmaceutical giant's efficacy. A few days back, the controversies took a dramatic turn for President Jair Bolsonaro after a health ministry official testified at the Senate. Ricardo Miranda testified that he and his brother, federal deputy Luis Miranda, had alerted the president about the concerning irregularities in an invoice sent by Madison Biotech, an offshore company in Singapore. The testimony made the CPI shift their focus to Bolsonaro and Bharat Biotech, whose owner, Dr. Krishna Ella, is also the founding director of Madison Biotech. This invoice from Madison Biotech became the focus of the investigation. According to the official CGU report, which led to the immediate termination of the contract, some points that justify the suspension are attempt to make any advance payment without any contractual provision, refusal to contractual deadlines, possible transaction through a firm not a signatory to the contract, violation of the contract by Bharat Prakisa, as reported by the Health Ministry, and unjustified price. In March, Brazil's National Health Surveillance Agency, AN Visa, uh, visited Bharat Biotech's facility in Hyderabad for inspection and found violations in regulations for good manufacturing practices. Needless to say, Anvisa rejected the Indian company's application for supplying Covaxin in Brazil. During the inspection, several non-conformities were found, which indicated the serious risk to manufacturing and quality assurance of the vaccine. In January, the Indian company had already signed a contract with Prakisa Medicamentos and in February, Prakisa signed a deal with the Brazilian government for the sale of 20 million doses. At the time of signing of the contract, Brazil's drug regulations had, got approved, had not approved Covaxin, although its price was agreed at $15 per dose. The price for Covaxin was the highest price paid by Brazil for any of the six vaccines contracted. After getting rejected by Anvisa on March 31st, it got approval for limited import on June 4th. Since then, the Indian company is at the centre of a massive scandal that is ravaging the Brazilian government and ripping apart Bharat Biotech's reputation worldwide.